Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Forge UK. I apologise for the voice, I've got a bit of a sore throat, but today I'm taking the Evo to AMD Limited in Wigan and I'm going to be having some work done. Two of the jobs that I'm having done while it's in, I don't know if you've watched my previous video, but the ABS lights come back on, I've had three sensors replaced and two ABS rings, the light still comes on, the car's going to be coming up to do its MOT and having an ABS light on is a failure. I don't want to take the ball out. As you all know who watch my videos, I like doing things properly. So they're going to investigate that, check all the wiring and stuff. No doubt it's probably the last sense that needs replacing. But we'll have to see when, when they have a look at it. The second job that they're going to be doing is the AYC lights on as well. It doesn't always come on straight away. So you start driving for a bit. It starts morning, having a bit of a grumble and then the light comes on. I've no doubt this is going to need a reconditioned pump. I dread to think how much they are. I've had a look and there's a few places I'll do an exchange, you drop it off, it's £700. I'll have to wait and see again because they're gonna test that and see what's actually causing that light to come on. But I need to get these lights taken off once and for all. Uh, the car's lovely, it's driving mint. And to be honest with you, it's a bit offensive seeing these two lights on. Another issue that I'm having with the Evo at the moment, which seems to be getting a little bit worse, is for example if I'm coming up a slip road and I boot it the car like stops and then goes again it's like total loss of power just for that millisecond like a bang and then it's back in and then bang and then it's back in as you work yourself uh, through the rev range it's done it once or twice when I first got it but it does seem to be getting a little worse I don't know what it is it don't feel like it's the clutch well I hope it's not uh, because I've had that replaced and it costs a lot of money I've asked them to do a road test on the car and see what they make of it, but it's very, very strange. It's literally like, <laughs> and then goes. Fingers crossed that isn't much, anything, much of anything either. Um, I'm hoping it's, it's summer and nothing, but as you all know with these cars, nothing's ever easy, nothing's ever cheap, but when they're running mint, it's worth every fucking penny you spend. And we have arrived. You see the banner there, nice little drive that. It's only took me about 40 minutes to get here, so I'm buzzing. Right, I've arrived at AMD now, and I'm gonna show you what the other jobs are, what I'm gonna have done. One of the jobs I'm having done are these brake calipers. As you can see, they've totally lost their way in life. They're gonna be taken off, stripped down, repainted red, and new stickers put on. I'll just show you at back ones as well. They really let the car down these um, i've got a new set of wheels as you all know that need to go on as well with center caps and get these winter tires off they've been absolutely brilliant especially last winter kept me on the road but i'm really looking forward to seeing it when it comes back with these calipers painted red the last job i'm having done is getting it all painted white underneath as you can see it's hard to show with the angle of underneath the car light but the surface rust has started coming through but still this car is clean as they come underneath which is a positive of importing one from japan really bits of surface rust coming through here and there but i'll get some proper shots of it when it's all been painted white and looks like brand new underneath like i say try and find one that's been in uk for 10 years that looks like this and it ain't going to happen it's the following saturday now after i dropped the evo off i was supposed to pick it up today as it was having the under underside painted, the calipers redone, and a few bits with the electrical side of things with the warning lamps. So quite a lot's happened in the space of a week. So I'll try and describe everything the best I can and give as much information as I can as well. There'll be quite a few pictures coming up as well. It's been quite a week and it started off with AMD Limited contacting me. They'd had it up on a ramp. They'd cleaned it all off underneath and they found a few issues with the Evo. As clean as I thought it were, I was obviously not looking close enough or looking with loving eyes rather than actually looking at the proper issues. And they've come across quite a few things with, with the underside of the car. He's basically turned around to me and said, he's not spraying it underneath unless I fix these problems. He's not one for just gunking over issues, uh, which hats off to him. Thanks for being honest with me and thanks for not bodging the car off really. It's going to cost me a lot, lot more than I expected. But like I always say, I want things doing properly. I want loads of pictures of this car being done. And then I've got history to it. 
I've imported it and I've had everything done to it properly. So the first issue was there's a hole in the floor pan in the driver's footwell. As usual, I'll put pictures up as we go through of, of all the little issues. So he said there's a little hole and that's going to need sorting out. So that's number one. Second problem arises, the rear chassis legs have got corrosion on them. So the back um, sections of the rear chassis legs need attention and so do the, the, the front section of the rear chassis legs as well. They said they were going to get some prices for me. I had a quick scan around, I went on Rossmore, £800 including VAT per side. So I, I asked him to ring me and he's rung me up and I said can they be repaired and still keep the, the structural integrity and he said he's given me a good hammering and stuff and seen how much falls off and yeah they can be repaired. The the rear section of the the back section should I say of the rear chassis legs is gonna have a plate put in. I don't want it putting on, I want it putting in and they said they're gonna weld it in properly, grind it all down so it, it looks like brand new again. There's a lot to the the front section of the chassis legs because all the suspension has to come off which is a lot of labour time as I found out but again I want it doing properly I don't know whether they're going to put five mil plate in or make a little box section to to re-secure all that but again they're going to put it in grind it all down make it all look pretty again before they start work on it what I've also had in the meantime as well is they found another little hole which they're going to have to treat again picture on the screen now so that's basically where we're up to. With what this is going to cost to have done, I'm kind of going to have to let the AYC light and the ABS light sit a month. It's coming up to Christmas and stuff, and I've not made the money. But like I say, I'd rather have this done properly while it's being done. So hopefully in the next two to three weeks, I'm going to have had the, the hole in the floor sorted, the rear chassis legs sorted, both front and back of the rear chassis legs, the other little hole, the calipers will be refurbished and resprayed sorry repainted and also the um, the car then will be sprayed white underneath and everything will be fine I've told the boys over at AMD to take plenty of pictures which they have been doing which is brilliant they're sending me over sending me them over on Facebook so I'll keep you up to date on it but as we stand today a week in um, this is where we're up to with the car I can't wait to have it back and uh, see what it looks like with all the work done it's been another week now and here's another quick update on where the Evo's up to over at AMD Limited having the underside of the car sorted out. As they've continued with the underside of the car they've come across a little hole in the passenger footwell. They've cut that out, treated that, put a plate and made it look all pretty again like they have done with the driver's footwell and now that's allowed them to get back under the car, take it fully back to metal, rust treat it, etch primary and that's how the car sits now. Now that bit's there ready to be painted, they've now moved on to the back of the car and stripping all the suspension components out, giving them access to the chassis legs so they can start work on them. A few pictures on the screen now showing you where they're up to on the back of the car. The car's basically in bits on the side, but as I think you'll agree, it's the best way to do it. This car needs sorting, the, the rust needs sorting out now while it's minimal, and then the car's going to have another 20 years in it. It's another Saturday, and it's two weeks now that AMD Limited have had my Evo. They sent me pictures through on Friday showing me underneath the car. It was fully stripped back and it was currently sat in etch primer waiting for the white um, U-Pole wrap to be, to be sprayed on all over. They said it would be white by the end of the day but I've not heard anything since. They've done an amazing job on the rear chassis legs of the car both front and back. They've sorted it out and I'm really happy that I managed to catch it just as it had started to go because I dread to think how much it would have cost if I would have had to have started having the full chassis legs replaced both front and back. I'd advise anyone really who's got an Evo to, to get them checked out and if you're importing one or you're paying someone to import one for you I'd 100% get it checked underneath before they underseal it. All sorts of problems can be, be hidden underneath under seal and it's always better to go and see it yourself before it gets done. I've heard some rumours of Evos coming into the country now with 10,000 mile on them, people paying big money for them and they're having, having boot floor pans replaced and then they're being sold as rot free cars and stuff so just be extra careful when you're importing now because these cars they're getting up to 20 year old now and they are starting to show age even the ones that are coming through from japan where it's supposed to be a rust free country etc mine's clearly been in a snowy region for a bit and i'm just really happy that i've managed to catch it while the rust has just started appearing 
rather than it happening and then you have a problem in a couple more years where it's in under major major restoration when you can catch it now yeah it's still expensive it's hard paying this kind of money before christmas but it's 100 percent worth it and i know i'm going to be having a good solid car there for a good few more years i'm happy to announce that finally the evo has been sprayed white underneath i was sent through pictures from amd limited um, yesterday or the day before i can't quite remember they've had the car nearly three weeks now and it was showing underneath the vehicle all totally covered now in u-pole raptor finished in white so the car's been fully stripped back to metal it's been rust treated it's then had the x primer put on and then the u-pole raptor which is like a rubberized covering which will protect the car from all the elements i'm so happy that i've had this done and it looks like they've done a really good job of it as well I'm glad I caught the rust in time as well, so now this car's been fixed. When they've taken away, cut the little bits out, they've rust treated inside as well. Now this car should last another 10, 20 years, fingers crossed. I don't know whether I'm going to have it for that long, but the calipers have also been refurbished and resprayed. New stickers have been put on, I can't wait to see the car. When they took the front calipers off, they noticed that the, the back plate had come away from the front pads. They've also replaced them, so hopefully now, over the next few days I'll get a phone call that I can go and pick this car up and have a look at it for myself. I don't know if you can see with the trees behind me and the sound of the rain but it's absolutely miserable today but the good news is the Evo is complete underneath it's all been rebuilt unfortunately I can't pick the car up today because this along with the ABS fault it turns out that it was one of the new sensors I got that's faulty they're getting no reading from it I spoke to Ross Sport they said it was rare which they always are going to do and I'm going to send the sensor back well, sorry, they're going to send me a new sensor, which I have to pay for. And then when I send the old one back, they'll give me a refund, which is fine. Bit gutted I can't take the car today, but it's one of those things. I'm still going to go up and settle up like I said I would do before Christmas. Weather, depending when I get there, depends on whether I can get on my knees and get underneath. But I've got some pictures of the car when it was fully rebuilt um, before they took it down off the ramps. So we'll see what it's like when I get there. I've just pulled in now. Car's parked outside. It's on the floor. The rain has broke. The sun's coming through, so I'm going to go in and pay now and then I'll get some video around the car. There she is. I've missed this girl. How much of a difference do them calipers make? They look absolutely mint. It looks totally different when them brand new wheels get put on. Lovely. Really made up with them. Let's have a bit of a mooch around while we're waiting to pay. I've not a clue what that is. I think it's a Nissan. It's a nice looking thing. Must go racing in there. Evil at the back there. <coughs> this thing were here last time I come. It must just stay here. Right, let's try and get underneath this car. I'll go and put some of it down up floor. The boot pan there, bits of specks of mud on it already. It looks lovely that. See if I can get a good shot of down the sides. It looks like brand new under there. When I get chance, I'm gonna get this up on ramps and get some proper video footage of underneath here and get it all wiped down again. I'll go out the other side and have a look too. A little bit dirty from driving it around this car park, I guess. But again, I'm absolutely over the moon with this. Well, there you go. That one's been quite a journey. I think it's gone on over three or four weeks now. I've just wished the boys at AMD Limited all the best for Christmas. And thank you for everything they've done. Just been talking to them about the ABS light again and saying that the sensor's on the way. I also asked about the AYC light, which they've managed to get turned off. When they've run the codes, it was a throttle position sensor values that were out. They've changed them, it's not the light off, the pump's running fine, everything's running fine. They've been out 
gone out in the car, thrown it into some corners, pump's working, light stayed off. I thought it was going to be um, a pump refurb. Probably end up will be in my mile up, but we'll keep these fingers crossed. They've, um, they've been absolutely great with me. So I'm going to sign out on this video. I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And I'll be back in the new year with more videos and updates on the Evo and a few other things that I've got on the go. See you later.